A shadow sliced through the Nevada night. No tail, no exhaust flare. Just a flash, then silence. Those who saw the footage argued. A new drone? An F-35 in testing? But something didn't match. No sound, no heat trail. It was the F-47 Phoenix, an aircraft that officially doesn't exist. Built for a new era where dominance isn't about power, but about invisibility. Its story began in 2014, when DARPA launched the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. After China unveiled the J-20 and Russia the Su-57, the U.S. needed more than a new fighter. It needed a concept that could erase radar superiority itself. The goal? Create a platform radars can't see and air defenses can't comprehend. By 2019, Boeing and Lockheed Martin had built six prototypes, completing over 200 test flights at Groom Lake. Only one survived the full cycle. That's how the Phoenix was born. Its body is a masterpiece of engineering minimalism. A blended wing fuselage with no vertical stabilizers, flat air intakes, and a fully shielded exhaust system. Its radar cross-section is less than 0.001 square feet, smaller than a bee. The surface is covered with metamaterial cells that dynamically retune wave reflections in real time. Two, Pratt & Whitney X A110 adaptive engines shift their operating cycle depending on speed and temperature. Without afterburners, the F-47 cruises at Mach 1.5 and at maximum exceeds Mach 2.3. It has a combat radius of over 1,150 miles and can stay airborne for up to eight hours in full radio silence. Its greatest achievement Zero heat signature. A hybrid cooling system mixes exhaust gases with cold airflow, reducing its infrared trace to match the surrounding sky. Inside the aircraft is the Aeron OS brain, a next-generation artificial intelligence. It fuses data from an AESA radar, optical sensors, EW suites, and six loyal companion drones. Everything merges into a single spatial model. The pilot sees the battle space as a 3D map, and the system proposes solutions faster than a human can react. If the link is lost, Phoenix switches to autonomous mode and completes the mission on its own. But behind the glossy words, there's a catch. Cost. In 2024, the program was nearly killed. The price per airframe topped $300 million. Then, secret trials took place in the Pacific, where an F-47 commanded a swarm of six Fury drones and eliminated 27 simulated targets with no losses. The AI learned on the fly, shifting tactics mid-engagement. After that demonstration, Phoenix was officially returned to development. Its silhouette is a compact fusion of the B-21 Raider and the SR-71 Blackbird. The design cuts dragged by 18%, while boosting lift enough that the aircraft can operate from short island runways. A sensor mesh embedded in the wings analyzes airflow and makes micro-corrections to stabilize flight even in turbulence. RAND analysts say Phoenix's key advantage is signature management. In passive mode, it reflects radar returns to create dozens of phantom contacts. This technology, called ghost resonance, makes an adversary see not one aircraft, but an entire squadron. Air defenses waste missiles on ghosts. But stealth isn't the aircraft's only strength. Its internal weapons bay can carry up to eight stores. AIM-260 JATM missiles, hypersonic munitions, or even miniature kamikaze drones, loitering munitions. In modern terms, the F-47B variant can also carry a B-6113 nuclear bomb. The latest version features a modular close-in defense laser rated at 120 kilowatts, capable of intercepting small incoming missiles. Tests also checked whether the jet can operate without base support. In a simulated mission, it simultaneously coordinated a swarm, evaded radar scans, and engaged over-the-horizon targets. 
After losing a drone, the system automatically reconfigured the formation in three seconds. That was the turning point. The F-47 moved from experimental to operational demonstrator. Just a few days ago, the U.S. Navy released an official program patch that revealed part of the truth. At the center, a phoenix, around it, six stars representing the six CCA drones. The motto Super Ramis, Stamus, Latimus translates roughly as We overcome, we persist, we rejoice. Along the bottom are six diamonds, the six demonstrators that competed for the NGAD contract. To the right is a curve that resembles the outline of China's eastern coastline. That's no accident. It's a hint at the primary theater of operations. Phoenix was designed for the Pacific Front. Chinese A2-AD systems can deny airspace out to about 500 miles, approximately 497 miles. But the F-47, operating with swarms of CCA drones, punches through that bubble of death from beyond the horizon, launches hypersonic munitions, and vanishes before it can be tracked. In the tactical trio, Lead Wing Wing, a single pilot can control up to six drones. So on the tactical display, one brain commands an entire force. The aerodynamics of the fighter deserve a separate mention. Its double-curved leading edge minimizes radar scattering, while active panels at the wing roots discharge the boundary layer at supersonic speeds. A micro-pump system redistributes pressure, keeping the aircraft stable without any moving control surfaces. This is biomimicry in the truest sense. The F-47 breathes like a living organism. Inside the cockpit is a transparent augmented reality canopy. There are no physical instruments. Everything is projected directly into the pilot's helmet display. Control happens through voice, touch, or gesture. When G-forces exceed 6G, the system automatically filters out all non-critical data leaving only the three essential flight parameters. Test pilots say, the jet thinks for you, but never takes control away. During night tests, witnesses noticed a faint glow around the aircraft, as if the air itself were ionizing. Some believe it's the effect of a plasma skin. Others think it's a new thermal masking system creating an artificial plasma mirror. Either way, the glow only appears when the Phoenix is flying in its highest stealth mode. The program's cost is once again sparking debate, but at the Pentagon, one F-47 is already being compared to an entire squadron of conventional aircraft. A single jet, working with its drone swarm, can control hundreds of miles of airspace and make tactical decisions without ground command. The F-47's first official flight is scheduled for 2028, with combat deployment planned for the early 2030s. Compact bases are already being built, short runways, low observable LO-class shelters, and autonomous laser communications nodes. The Phoenix was designed not for demonstrations, but for shadow operations in zones where any electronic emission means defeat. Those who've seen it in action say it doesn't merely disappear from radar. It redefines the logic of airspace itself. Its presence is only noticed when it's already too late to respond. Maybe that flight over Nevada was a simulation. Maybe it was a show of force ahead of a new phase of geopolitical competition. The F-47 is not just an aircraft. It's an intelligent weapon made for a world where the sky is a digital battlefield and advantage equals silence and it looks like silence is already arriving.